Corcoran enters the zone, chips it over to Ferrara. Schistel, the captain. Quick touch pass over to Larkinen. One touch control from him. Blazer in the corner. A little bit scruffy. Well, they have got a lot of time in the offensive zone already, almost halfway through this power play. Larkinen finds all Ferrara in the slot. Quick shot from Blazer in the number 19. Good save again from Ginn. He gets it again here, Ferrara. Turns, nice feed. Chance for the Ferrara again! Oh, and he pushed it just wider than that. That was a great look from Ferrara. Blaze worked that very well. He just needed to find the target there, Stu, you feel, as Corcoran keeps things going. Pocket the goal line. Corcoran to the back door. Great feed from Corcoran, and a shot goes wide from Ferrara from a bad angle. Blaze looking very sharp on this power play. Larkinen, great feed across. Corcoran back to Larkinen. He shoots, he scores! A wonderful finish from Larkinen! Caps off a great power play for the Blaze. 30 seconds left in it. They were patient, and this is a pinpoint finish from the Finn. Fantastic work from the Coventry Blaze power play. Moving the puck around really well. We're trying to find the man. They found one almost twice with Luke Ferrara, but again here we see that cross ice pass. Great feed, and Larkinen pinpoint top corner. Beats the glove hand of Ginn and finds the back of the net for the Coventry Blaze. Manchester Storm able to clear. Oh, nice hand-eye coordination from Thompson. He sends it in for Ulmer, looking at the net, and he scores! And that will be one of the goals of the week for sure. Wonderful, wonderful patience from Lane Ulmer. And he goes one-handed round Jamie Phillips. This is superb, look at that. The patience there from Lane Olmer is absolutely exquisite. Really just waits for Jamie Phillips to commit. Once he's gone down, kind of sort of spread the lace to try and make some kind of save. He's just got to be patient, come round, get round Phillips and put it into the back of the empty net. It's commentary swish into action with Bludoff. Bumped by Gruel. Good play by Evan Bludoff. And Gagnon unable to touch the puck. Come to you, might have a chance here. They do, and they score! Corcoran on the back door! A wonderful play from the Blaze on the delayed penalty. And they get their lead back. And it's again, good board play from uh, Bludoff that creates it. And Corcoran, he won't get an easier finish. He's got all the time in the world. Great play from the forwards. I like to say, good board play, working that man advantage round well. Both uh, uh, Bludoff and then Johnston round by the boards getting the flick. It finds Johnny Curran and it's just a tap in from there for Corcoran. Negrin drops off. A little spin in the corner. Thompson shoots. Oh, that brushed the side of the net on its way through. Little warning shot across the bows of the Blaze ship as Clements will throw a quite tidy bump into the corner on Simmons. He throws a little pop back at him. Ever feisty is, well, a nice play from Ferrara. A chance from Paul Camp, but a good save again. Oh, the rebound stuck home! Somehow the play is given a gift. Give it a third. And it's Luke Ferrara. Johnny on the spot as, it looked like Paul Camp was gonna open his account, but loose puck just stayed there. And Ferrara stuffed it in the cage. It's first of the league. You've got to be persistent. You've got to keep your eye on the puck at all times. Paul Camp comes in, he gets that shot. But you think Jin's got it, but he hasn't quite. He tries to play it with his stick, and instead he just fans on it oh. straight into the path of Luke Ferrara, who raises it over the, the shoulders of Gin and makes it 3 1 to the Coventry Blaze. His gruel will touch this one up. He's mobbed in the corner by Corcoran and blew it off. Oh, that one jumped over the stick of Venus. And Aulene's going to rush with it. Jared Aulene backhands it off. Chance into the back of the net. Puskaric with 10 seconds left in the period. Manchester again taking advantage on the rush and a broken play. Venus mishandled. He was pounced upon. And the Storm make no mistake. Orlean does very well in dragging that puck in, uses his back skate to drag it forward. 
comes down the left wing and then he's really just got to make the choice do I take the shorter pass to the trailer coming in and Pascaric and you see that pass is very much open there what a great feed he's got lays it on a plate nice finish and another mental lapse from the Coventry Blaze has allowed Manchester back into this <laughs> Still keeps it moving. Larkin in again. Trying to play keep away with Olmer, two seasoned vets, I think is the polite way of uh, describing those two in the corner. Both are kind of similar age. Thompson ahead of uh, Thompson, making himself known on the rush, but never really sat for him, however. Sullivan gets it going straight back north. Good play from the Storm. Olmo will head to the net. Jamie Phillips will gobble that one. A boy diving attempt to get that rebound. Oh, and there's going to be a small melee as I think Thompson took a pop at Clements. Brawl was making his way to the action with the upper center. We're just uh, doing what one of the things David Brawl is paid to do to do. Ends up behind the goal. Larkin and finds himself in some space. And he will try and bring this up ice. Oh, nice feed off the skates of Corcoran. To the right wing side. Chance! Oh, blew off. Didn't look like he quite had the grip on his stick hard enough. And the Manchester Storm are going to get a breakaway. Force it. With speed in. Dig scores. What a finish. Three apiece. Another breakaway for Manchester. And another goal. Tyson Forsyth, an emphatic finish on the back end. Look at that. Absolutely turns the Jets on straight through the middle once he gets a look of that puck on the breakaway. And there's no catching him from that position. Comes forward and then just goes forehand, backhand, and puts it over Jamie Phillips. Hashi. Roll just about stayed on side. Here's Dylan Eichstad. Takes a good long look, finds Hashi. Back for Dylan Eichstad. Once more for Hashi. Matt Polkamp shoots, pad save Johnston on the rebound to the slot and a diving block. Prevents an empty net for the Blaze to shoot into. Johnston takes that one off the skate blade a couple of seconds after the power play. Pass to the point. Shot from Hashi. Sticks a rebound. Oh, Matt Polkamp! Oh, my goodness. The Blaze should have that lead back as Matt Polkamp's had three golden opportunities tonight and he sends this one into the stands. Nice bit of patience from Andrew Johnston. Gets the puck. Puck comes in there and it's, you know, it's on a plate there right in front of the net. You've got to be getting it on target and making the man do the work. Comes on the right hand side with Simmons. Negrin, Simmons, they exchange play. 10 seconds to go. Manchester might just work for one more shot. From the left wing, it might come for Sid. Negrin with a one timer. Stopped by Phillips. Boys. Got hacked at by Hope looking for the rebound. The goalie felt that one for sure. It's just at the buzzer. Looks like again. Yeah, we'll get a, get a look at this. Look at Carl Hope on the back door here. Great shot comes in. Oh, that, that, that's that, cheeky. That's that's not a good play at all there from Hope. That, I'd that, argue that's a penalty. Yeah, that's I, right I, in his glove. He's even tucked his hand around. Yeah, he's tucked his hand around, but he's the where he's he's wrapped him on the pads. Gruel will rush it. Chris Polkamp manages to recover, and the Blaze able to come north with Johnston, Larkin, and. Comes to Brawl, David Brawl. Thought about the backhand, but holds on. Oh, heavy pass through the uh, slot. And well, didn't know Eichstadt was arriving on the back door. It was just ahead of the youngster. The well, they still have managed to keep it in the zone. Johnson, oh, to Johnny Curran! And what a save from Ginn! Out of nowhere! Ginn had no right to stop that. But he silenced the building in doing so. Oh, Johnny Curran, he's going to try and pick this puck up again. Schistel, softly to Eichstad. Back behind the goal line, Bludorf. Eichstad wants it back. 
and he will get it. Takes it to the top, shoots, blocked on the way through. I think it might have come off Corcoran. But he's still in the hunt for it as Storm were able to clear. And that was a lot of pressure just sent on Matt Ginn's net by the Blaze too. Great shift to get settled back in after killing that penalty as Critchlow's gonna come north. He gets around Schistel, saved by Phillips. The rebound all right out in the slot. There's gonna be a penalty. Holding's gonna be the call. Well, the way that Clements reacted, I think it's gonna be on him. Oh, as a bump comes in on Chris Polkamp and the Blaze men jump in arms for potential interference there. Well, I gotta say, if Clements was holding, that was interference. But hey-ho, the Blaze might get away with this today. A rush from Venus, Venus wide, he's gonna get a shot. Oh, and he's gonna get a goal! Unbelievable from Venus! Short-handed! He went right to the goal line before cutting across Ginn. And a casual backhand finish, that's wonderful from Ross. Excellent finish from number 59 there. As he comes down the left wing, he has to get that puck off the boards and then come all the way across Matt Ginn. Get another look at it here. Cal Critchlow is trying to catch back and then actually, actually takes the penalty as well. So effectively another delayed penalty goal there for the oh. E-Blaze. Skaric tries to move it into the corner. Little battle with Chris Polkamp and Puskaric. Cleared around the boards and the Blaze aren't able to clear. They've got to be careful here. They committed a lot of men forward. None of their players at that point were below the hash marks. If that puck had sprung out and all it takes is a dodgy bounce to do so, Manchester had a clear route to Jamie Phillips. Is that puck? Days again to the back of the net. A clear route to Jamie Phillips once more. Young Finley Ulrich, the finisher. And the storm tying up. And they collect the puck. Kruskaric goes and grabs it. That'll have some white stick tape around it and first professional goal written on it before long. Indeed, great goal. And you see you here, look at the Blaze, the three Blaze players. They all go down, they go back down to around the goal line. Finley Ulrich's coming across, nobody's picked him up. And that's a, yeah. you know, a great piece of opportunism from the Manchester Storm. It's Justin Hamannick will calm things down. We see another Hammer Time special, I don't know. Certainly knows how to shoot the puck. Ooh, was, that one came awkwardly off Ginn. Johnston arriving. Larkinen keeps it alive. Brawl. Larkinen. Back to David Brawl. Great touch hockey. And well, Brawl shooting it off a body into the netting will, uh, will cause a stoppage. Yeah, nice work from, uh, from the three there. Larkin and Johnson and Brawl there. Getting that puck, moving it around, getting a bit of a cycle going. And Brawl, just a bit of a speculative shot, getting that blocking into the netting. Yeah, and speaking of speculative, Chris Polkamp sends one from the point, finds a hole, finds the back of the net. And he gets his first professional goal. How did this find a hole? Just absolute screens in front of Matt Ginn. He doesn't see anything. Chris Polkamp just floats it in towards the net. We see, take another look here. Polkamp looks, shapes up, gets a good look, but there's one, two, three, four players taking the eyes of Matt Ginn there, and it just hits the top corner. He doesn't see it, and it's 5-4 to the place. Oh, they're one shy. John Negrin will jump out. Or Tyson Fawcett. When they make up their minds, we'll let you Yeah, they certainly just weren't sure on who they wanted to have on as that six on five play. But you see, Netmind has pulled the storm now, throwing absolutely everything at the Coventry Blaze. Yeah, he's a crafty player, Tyson Fawcett. Forward by trade, but this sits around the blue line as a uh, member of a power play unit. There's a big hit comes in from Brawl. Big size mismatch. Exploited by the Blaze, the net gapes, they score. Markkinen seals it. And Coventry should have had enough now to get the two points. And that is a size mismatch. We were talking about Fawcett, undersized forward, gets barreled over by Brawl. And Larkinen 
He's not going to miss from there in the empty net. Absolutely not. David Broll comes in, gets the gets a good shoulder there. And if it's an absolutely fair check to, to free that puck up, and then makes a good pass to Larkin and on the backhand, and Larkin with all of his veteran knowledge just settles the puck down and takes a good shot past the defenseman. 